So alam na natin kung paano mag-check uh, kung uh, nagmo-move forward o nagmo-move backward yung ating object using derivatives. Ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin is to verify kung uh, bumibilis o bumabagal yung particle natin sa given interval. And in this case, kailangan na natin i-verify siya using yung uh, equation ng velocity at equation ng acceleration. At ito yung example ng function na i-verify natin kung nagsispeed up or nagsislow down yung particle. So given the velocity of an object at t squared minus 60 plus 8, when is the object speeding up and when is the object slowing down? So, given na yung function at yung function natin, e velocity, so ang kailangan na lang natin is kunin yung acceleration. So, yung velocity niya is t squared minus 60 plus 8. Gagamit ulit tayo ng sign chart para ma-verify yung mga signs nung velocity at mga signs nung acceleration. So, since ang velocity natin is... Um, T, t squared minus 60 plus 8, which is factorable, meron tayong t equals 2 and t is equal to 4. So, ito yung same um, equation na ginamit natin do sa previous example natin doon sa uh, sign chart na ginamit natin ng velocity. So, ito ngayon yung paggamit ng sign chart using your velocity. So, sa velocity, meron tayong tatlong intervals. Meron tayong anything less than 2, anything in between 2 and 4, and anything greater than 4. So, ito yung sign chart natin. At na-verify natin siya by substituting a value of t na pasok sa interval ng first partition nyo, which is negative infinity to 2. So, pili lang kayo ng number doon, at ako na pili ko is 0. At ang, after substitution ng 0, I got 8 as my answer. So, that means positive yung sign ng uh, velocity ko on this interval. At para naman sa in interval na 2 and 4 seconds, ang pinili ko number is 3, kaya meron akong negative 1. Then I know na negative yung uh, uh, sign ng velocity ko in the interval between 2 and 4 seconds. At doon naman sa last interval ko, anything higher than 4 seconds, ang interval ko na ginamit, ay ginamit ako siya ng 5, kasi yun yung more than or higher than 4. So after my substitution, I got 3, so it's also a positive number. So itong sign chart na to ay nagpapakita ng um, velocity or sign ng velocity nitong particle na to. Meron akong positive para sa interval na negative infinity and 2. Meron akong negative sa interval na 2 and 4. At meron akong positive sa interval na 4 and positive infinity, which means it's moving forward dito sa interval na to, backwards and then forwards. Now, Ang tanong dito is hindi ang paggalaw ng object kung pabalik or forward or abante or atras. Ang tinitingnan natin dito kung bumibilis o bumabagal yung ating uh, particle. So ang kailangan natin dito, i-verify yung sign ng velocity against dun sa sign ng acceleration para makuha natin yung, yung susunod nating uh, function. Tapos yung acceleration natin is yung derivative ng velocity. So nakuha natin is 2t minus 6. So kukunin ulit natin yung uh, zeros ng t. So pag solve ng t mo, equate nyo sa 0. And t is equal to 6 over 2. So ngayon may panibago tayong interval. Meron tayong interval at t equals 3. So mapapansin nyo, meron akong guhit dito sa gitna na to. At kailangan i-verify ko yung mga signs niya. So paano ko ngayon i-verify? kung meron akong additional na interval. So, magkakaroon ako ng additional interval dun sa bago kong sign chart. At yun yung gagawin natin sa susunod na slide. So, ito ngayon yung bago kong sign chart. So, dun sa velocity ko, meron akong interval na 2 seconds and 4 seconds. Pero nung kumuha na ako ng acceleration, nadagdagan siya ng 3 seconds. So, ngayon, mas madami na ngayon yung interval ko. Meron akong interval dito, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, meron na ako ngayong 4 intervals na kailangan kong um, i-compare kasi ang tanong sa atin is kung bumabagal or kung saan bumabagal or bumibilis yung particle na yon given sa interval. So, iti-check natin ngayon yung ating signs using acceleration function naman. So, yung acceleration natin from the previous um, solution, a of t is equal to uh, 2t minus 6. So, magsasubstitute rin kayo ng values tulad ng ginama natin kanina. So, anything lower than 2, anything in between 2 and 3, anything in between 3 and 4, and anything higher than 4. Yun yung mga numbers na substitute natin sa t para ma-verify yung sign niya. Dun sa first interval ko, nagsubstitute ako ng 0, 
at nakukuha ko ng negative 6. So that means negative yung sign ng acceleration ko for this interval. So ito ngayon yung sign ko. And then dun sa susunod na interval, between 2 and 3, ang pinili ko is 2.5. At nung sinubstitute ko siya, meron akong negative 1. So that means negative yun naman yung sign ng acceleration ko dito sa interval na to. At dun sa susunod na interval, between 3 and 4, pumili ako ng 3.5 at meron ako ngayong positive 1 which gives me a positive sign for my acceleration. At dun sa last interval ko, anything higher than 4 seconds, I have positive 4, so this is positive. So ngayon, nakompleto ko na yung um, signs ng aking uh, sign chart. So, uli, dun sa taas, andito yung mga signs ng velocity ko na kinuha natin kanina. Nagkaroon ako, since nahati ito sa dalawa, hinati ko rin yung negative ko sa dalawa para ma-accommodate yung interval na 2 and 3 and 3 and 4. So, ito ngayon yung aking mga bagong interval using my acceleration at saka yung velocity. So, mapapansin nyo, positive and negative, since magkaiba siya, it's slowing down. So, on our interval, between negative in infinity and 2, nagsuslow down yung particle. At between 2 seconds and 3 seconds naman, yung particle natin is magkaparehas ng sign, kaya it's speeding up. So even if negative siya, since parehas silang negative, bumibilis pa rin yung ating particle based dun sa rule na um, natutunan natin before. At ito namang third interval between 3 seconds and 4 seconds, it's slowing down kasi magkaiba yung value ng sign ng velocity and acceleration. At dun sa last interval, it's also speeding up kasi positive and positive yung ating acceleration at saka velocity. At yan yung paggamit natin ng sign chart para sa pag-verify kung bumibilis or bumabagal yung particle natin. Itong susunod ng mga examples naman, eh, rates of change pa rin ng problem natin. Pero ito, rectilinear motion na. Um, sa problem na to, meron tayong given equation. The equation of motion of a particle is S equal 2T cubed minus 7T squared plus 4T plus 1. Where S is measured in meters and T is measured in seconds. So meron tayong yung tatlong tanong na kailangan sagutin. Yung unang tanong is to find the velocity after 3 seconds. And after 3 seconds, um, ikukompute lang natin yung velocity by substitution. Then for B, we need to find the acceleration after 1 second. And dun sa last question, with what velocity is the particle at rest? So, kailan daw siya nakatigil lang? So, to answer letter A, madali lang yung letter A kasi velocity after 3 seconds, kunin nyo yung first derivative kasi yun yung velocity function nyo. At yung first derivative natin, meron tayong 6t squared minus 14t plus 4. Now, plug in, in the value of 3 kasi yun yung tinatanong. Sorry for the interruption. There is an SST in Mr. Hassel's office. Tips this afternoon at 2.30. <sighs> Right. The following teachers are invited to come, Ms. Gutierrez, Ms. Oligari Lealopi, Mr. Grimsley, Mr. Horner, Mr. Anders, Ms. Gilmore, and Mr. Pitasi. Thank you. So since after 3 seconds siya, isasubstitute nyo lang yung 3, 6 times 3 squared minus 14t plus 4, and you'll get, six, you'll get 16 meters per second. So yaan yung velocity natin after 3 seconds. Now to answer letter B, ano naman daw yung acceleration niya after 1 second? Since ang acceleration is the second derivative, kunin nyo lang yung derivative ng velocity function. So you have your acceleration function, which is 12t minus 14, Plug in the value of 1 kasi tinatanong is 1 second. Kaya negative 2 meters per second squared yung ating acceleration by substituting the value of 1 to our acceleration function. So ngayon, alam natin yung acceleration ng particle after 1 second is negative 2 meters per second squared. And to answer the last problem, sa daw, ano daw velocity ng particle magiging at rest yung uh, particle na yon. So, to solve this problem, kailangan nyo yung velocity function. So, velocity function, hindi yung acceleration function. So, sa velocity function na 6t squared minus 14t plus 4, all you need to do is to solve for the zero of your t para makuha nyo yung um, object or time at rest niya at time t. So, kinuha ko siya by um, factoring 
na factor ko si 2 and then meron akong quadratic equation na, na factorable. Meron akong 3t minus 1 and t minus 2 equated to 0 kasi kailangan nyo na yung 0 product property to solve for t. So I have 3t minus 1 is equal to 0 and t minus 2 is equal to 0. So which gives me t equals 1 third and t equals 2. So ito ngayon yung values ng t mo wherein yung particle mo is at rest. So the particle is not moving at t equals 1 third second or at t equals 2 seconds. So yan yung pagsagot nitong problem na to.